Hello and welcome back to our Red Run Challenge in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate, where today we are going to be playing with a Rathalos in hopes of being able to upgrade a weapon. And yeah, sure, it'll just be a low rank Rathalos, but I mean, hey, that's something, right? Right? Eh. Either way, Rathalos. And let's grab some food. Oh, we got nothing we like fresh. That's a shame. Uh, what happens if we do some of this action? I mean, feline fire starter isn't the worst thing for us to get, so yeah. Also, I believe we've got some things to turn in over here. Actually, I know we've got at least one, but... Because, yeah, I decided to finally just go ahead and do this. Get better milk. Because why the heck not? So there we go. And then, did we have anything else? I mean, I could do this, but I think I'll hold off. Because we're going to need some of that stuff, at least for a while. Eventually, I might grab that. But now isn't that time. So, since we need Rathalos shells, we're going to be killing him rather than capping him. Which is a little unfortunate, because that means we are cutting our chances at getting a plate. And I sincerely hope we don't end up needing a plate. Because if we... Whoops. We need the map, but I guess we've got it now. Yeah, if we end up needing a plate, then I'm gonna be a little out of luck. Thankfully, plates are more common in uh, high rank. So it's not like I'm gonna be completely out of luck. It's just that it'll take a little more effort than it otherwise would, maybe. Well, yeah, we'd have to kill some high rank Rathaloses and hope for a plate that way. But we do still have a few low rank Rathaloses left. At least two more after this one, I'm pretty sure. And that is because we haven't done Tanzia Rathaloses, I don't think. Honestly, I should get back to doing Tanzia stuff, but then again, I should also get to the next rank in Moga. Because then we can actually go to the high rank tundra. And from the high rank tundra, we can actually get ourselves some gracium, which would let us upgrade this weapon. Because having an actually high rank weapon. Way to not finish your landing animation, buddy. Yeah, having an actual high rank weapon when going into the. Uh, rest of the low rank in Tanzia would definitely put us at an advantage. We'd be able to basically treat it as low rank Moga with a late low rank weapon, just in terms of our general damage output and whatnot. It's cute that you think that had any chance of hitting me. All right, we were able to snake in there. Get some hits on that tail, which is good. As per usual, I definitely want to try and see this tail severed. Maybe he'll do another... Nope. No more uh, taunt animation. That's a shame. Could have used the additional tail hits. How about some of this? Too late, huh? He sure is bitey. I was uh, not quite close enough there. Need to get used to not 
having a long weapon. Like, seriously. Spent all this time with Sword and Shield, and I'm still not used to its short reach. I was actually just fighting some Rathaloses in Monster Hunter World earlier today. It's definitely changed a bit. Rathalos does not behave quite the same in that game. And honestly, I really appreciate that, because coming back to this, this Rathalos is quite stiff by comparison. And then if we go back to Freedom Unite, it's even stiffer. It's almost as though as the games get more advanced, so do the monsters in those games. Got a little hung up on the feet, but still got a bunch of hits on the tail. Now he's going to do a fireball back hop, which means he's going right back down. Like some kind of idiot. And now we got even more hits on the tail. Problem is, we need to get more hits still. And we are, in fact, out of flashes. So we gotta basically take the, the chances he gives us if we're to get those tail hits. Or we can create a chance of our own by hitting his legs enough to knock him over. If only he was more like Rathian and willing to stay in one spot while flying at low altitude. Oh, he is tired. Tail flinch. Tail cut. Good. Now we don't have to care about any tail opportunities. We can get his face until we break it. And now we've got to worry about wing chances. He is leaving. Let's get this tail carved. Well, what do you know? The tail was a tail all along. Who could have guessed that that would be the outcome? So it looks like he's going down to three. But he's not here to get a snack. So let's go ahead and create a wing opportunity here. Oh no, my map. Whatever will I do without my map? Okay, kind of lame that we had to lose our sharpness there. But whatever. So we're going to have to go for that left leg again. Because that wing still is unbroken, but it is closer to breaking than the right wing. At least it... It better be, because I don't think we've really gone for the right wing. Oh, there it goes. Well, I guess that means we are done with that left foot. Okay, paintballs I actually care a little bit more about than maps. So I need to actually hit this freaking cat if I'm to get it back. There we go. Wonder if Big Boy's going to get himself a snack right now. Looks like he is. That's good. That means we'll get a sparkly. And I do appreciate sparklies. get a knock down there. I'm going to go ahead and grab this sparkly. Or not quite. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab this sparkly. That was not at all the result I was hoping for. That wasn't any of the results I was hoping for. I would have liked any result better than that one. Okay. 
Okay, he was going for a cat. That's fine by me. Or not a cat, but shakalaka. Sorry. Cats and shakalakas are two different things, but they serve the same purpose. And that right there was some proof that these shakalakas cannot be pinned, because that was his pinning attack. It nailed Kayamba right in the face. And yet, Kayamba did not get pinned. So I guess monsters pinning our companions was something added in Gen 4. Considering that pins themselves were added in Gen 3, that's not actually terribly surprising. Ooh, a little close there. Sure, hit a whole lot of nothing. Okay, we are on the wrong side here. That's okay, we got where we needed to be. We got that wing. Which means now we get to basically just focus on his face until he dies. Considering his face is by far his weakest spot. By far. If only I had more flashes to get him out of the air. Oh. Thankfully, he doesn't really pose too much of a threat to us in terms of his damage output. What with him being a low rank monster and us having two high rank pieces of armor plus the plus 50 defense bonus for playing the US version. Yeah, we don't have much to fear from this guy. We just need his numbers to stop numbering so that we can carve his body and hopefully get some shells. So I think we needed four shells, maybe five. So chances are we will need to do another Rathalos after this. But hopefully we'll only have to do two. Nice to get some leeway. I mean, if we only had to do this one, that would be just fantastic, but I don't expect that'll end up being the case. Ow. Thankfully, we've got water. Always nice to be able to get rid of Fire Blight with just one roll instead of three. Nice. Kept it from leaving. And now we need to sharpen again. There we go. Nice block, Cha Cha. guy repainted. And here's the limp. And we've angered him out of his limp, and we are taking this fireball. We might have been able to avoid it if Cha-Cha didn't try and get us out of that roar stun. But because Cha-Cha slapped us, we were unable to at least try to dodge away. But that's fine. We didn't take too much damage. It looks like he is going straight up to his nest. Makes sense. That's where I would go if I was beaten within an inch of my life. Actually, I'd probably go to the hospital, but I don't think there's a Rathalos hospital. Kind of a shame, really. They could probably really use one. I know we don't really need this, but having maximum stamina is nice. And pow!
I don't think he liked what we did. There we go. Doesn't matter if he liked it or not. He's dead. So if we don't get what we want, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do another Rathalos this episode. There's one shell. If we could get two more just from carves, that would be great. Nope. So yeah, if we have enough to upgrade the weapon after this hunt, then that'll be it for this episode. But otherwise, we will go on to fight another Rathalos in Tanzia, because that'll be our only option. Because there aren't any in the Moga Woods in low rank for at least the forecast that I looked up before this episode. So, yeah. Tanzia Rathalos, and then maybe we'll have enough after that. I'd appreciate it. Plus, if I could avoid having multiple Rathalos qu or, uh, episodes in a row, I think that would make for a better viewing experience. So, yeah. So, we almost certainly did not get all the shells we needed. We've got three. And I'm pretty sure we needed four or five. And that Rathalos was exactly as big as the only other one I've fought. That feels wrong. So, tell it to me straight, guy. Do I still need more? Yep. I do need two more. But, hang on. There's still a chance. Nope. Got a scale, not a shell. How about from you? And a mite seed. So yeah, we got nothing. Wait, mastery increase? Do, do you have a new slot yet? He does have the new slot. Hooray! So now, what we can do is we can actually give him para attack. And then instead of weather breaker, we can give him ailment attack up. And now he's actually got at least some chance of being able to paralyze things. And if I change your mask, I could give him the lamp mask and give him the same thing, and then we might have a pretty decent chance of para. Is it worth giving up the fluffy mask, though? Honestly, I think for now it is, because we aren't really relying on the fluffy mask's ability to show us where monsters are. So, yeah, if we just do this. Wait, why well, can... Oh, it's because he's already got dragon attack. Can't have multiple things. There we go. Wait, no, don't cancel. Do that. There we go. So now, paralysis is not just a dream. It's a possibility. So, yeah. No Rathalos is there for a while. So, to Tanzia we go. I, uh, mashed A a little fast there. Hopefully we're not going anywhere. Okay, this is fine. In fact, we can check Granny Goto. Who doesn't have things on sale, but she does have nice things to sell. And honestly, I could probably use a handful of these sap plants. They're pretty cheap anyway. So there we go. All right, show me some Rathalos. Yep, Wrath of Rathalos. We ain't done it yet. We need to do it. It's the only Rathalos we've got available here right now. But we'll get one more Rathalos once we've done all the key quests here. Because the urgent to get to high rank is a Rathalos and Rathian together in the deserted island. So, yeah. We've still got at least two low rank Rathaloses left to do. Well, actually at least three. Because there's this one, the one that I was just talking about, and then Moga Woods if it ever decides to show up. So, yeah. 
We ought to be fine. Gonna be getting Feline Firestarter again, just because not being weak to fire is useful. I mean, that's how I feel about it. And let's get rid of that tail and those shells. And that scale. We'll keep the antidotes. And we'll also grab a few more paintballs. As well as... Uh, flashes. There we go. Now let's go play with this Rathalos. Oh, I should have grabbed cool drinks, but then again, there will be four in the item box, so we'll be fine. Plus, he'll spend most of his time not in places that require cool drinks, so yeah, we will be fine. Grabbing all the everything. And now, let's go find us a Rathalos. He should be right through this area over here, I think. I'm pretty sure that's where he starts. Could be wrong, though. Well, the Aptonoth are concerned, which means he has actually started over here. Or at least he had... Oh, there he is. Okay, so he started in here and then he goes over there. Got it. If I'm not mistaken, he seems a little bigger than the last one. Just a little, though. Okay, I'll flash you. Or apparently not. I'll definitely flash him after this, though. Here, have some of that. Now, I will attempt to take your tail. Of course, it'll take significantly more than what I've just done, as we've seen. But, you gotta start somewhere. Be nice if he did more of the taunt and less of the bite. You know, stuff that actually puts the tail where we can hit it. it is generally what I prefer. Oh, are you doing this again, then? That's fine by me. I don't mind having more chances to flash you and hit your tail. So, there's a flash for you. Oh, I knew you'd love it. Ooh, we got all the hits. And then he did that. Oh, and he's doing it again, but I wasn't really in position. So we didn't get to take advantage of it the second time. So that right foot should be not too far from a flinch. Needs fewer fireballs, buddy. my reach there. It's okay, those things happen. Okay, buddy, I'm going to need you to get out of that entry area. Thank you. Okay, you see what you've done is go right back there. I mean, sure, you're not all the way in it, but still a little closer to it than I would like. Here comes the back hop fireball. Buddy, for reals, stop going in there.
Oh, are we doing more of this? We're doing more of this. So my last flash will be an easy one. Because I just do that. And then this wing is blocking me, so we're just going to hit it. It's fine. We want to break the wing, too. It's not like the tail's the only goal. So unfortunately, that's the same wing that'll be available when we flinch this leg that we're trying to get so that we can do more tail work. means we're actually going to have to flinch the leg twice in order to get all of our goals. Twice at least. Buddy, can we can we get out of the entry areas, please? Like, for reals? Okay, fine, you can leave. That's also an option. Let's go ahead and use this mini wet. We've got plenty of them. No reason to wait until we get to yellow if the Rathalos has left. And he didn't go far. Hey, we got two hits on that tail. That's something. Okay, buddy. I'm gonna need you to, like, try and do something to the Shakalakas so that I can just go for your tail while you're flying here, but the Shakalakas are both gone, so I guess that's not really possible now, is it? Ow. Thankfully, if you're hanging out directly under his face, you're usually too far back for his fireballs to hit. Even if he tries to do them. Alright, got the knockdown. And we got the tail with our last strike. So now we gotta try and flinch that right foot again. Get another knockdown and this time go for the wing. So we will try and hang out near the right foot still. Don't know what I flinched, but it was something. Ow. I kind of wish this was a game that had subquests in it. I always prefer when the Monster Hunter games have subquests. Oh, hey, we got the wing, so I guess we can ignore that foot now. Which is fine, because it was going to take a while to flinch again anyway. So now it's his left foot we care about. Even though we don't really have much reason to care about it. Because as I've stated on multiple occasions in this game, you only got to break one wing to get the reward for breaking a wing. And breaking two wings does not give you an additional reward. So, I mean, really, we should just be going for the face. But, like, I feel more accomplished if I break both. Even if it makes the quest take a little longer. And this is about me and how I feel. what I can do. Not much of a challenge if it's not involving me doing stuff that doesn't need to be done just for the sake of making it harder. He is tired. I'm actually going to ignore his leg for the rest of the time he's tired. Because as we went over with the berry off a while back, it's simply better for me to get the knockdown when he's not tired, because that way, time when he's not already super easy to deal with 
is when he becomes easy to deal with. Whereas if you take a tired monster and then you knock it over, well then it's just tired on the ground. It doesn't stay knocked over any longer. And then you're missing out on all this time where they're just sitting here drooling or whatever. He picked a pretty good time to leave. I can't fault him for that. Ooh, we need to carve that tail. Can't forget that. Marrow isn't bad. I'm pretty sure we needed that in some capacity or other. And it looks like he is getting a snack. That big one is not long for this world. Yep. So now if we just come on over here and we hit this left leg a few times, then we get to break the wing. And that is all the breaks that exist in this game. I was going to say all the breaks that we can get, which is just as true. But it's less accurate. Less specific. Haha. <laughs> no leaving for you, buddy. Might not have been the worst idea to let him leave, because there's another place where he could have tried to get an Aftonoth, but I don't think it would give us another Sparkly, based on our experiences with whatever Rathian it was. And we're probably taking a Fireball here. Or Kayamba will take it for us, like a champ. It seems one of them might have paralyzed an Alteroth. That's, like almost what I was hoping would happen when they got their para sigils. I was really kind of hoping that, say, they'd paralyze a Rathalos for me. Looks like uh, Cha-Cha doesn't really do too much attacking with his weapon, though. Lamp Mask might not be really for that. Might be a better idea to just give him the Acorn Mask and have him stick with that until he increases his affinity with it until it gets a second sigil slot. That, yeah, that might be the thing to do. And since we accidentally came out here, we might as well drink a first aid med and then get right back in. Uh, looks like we are gonna have to pay attention to this shadow. Oh, he was doing that. Well, I guess I got a little lucky then. Yeah, I was thinking, hey, he's not paintballed and he's leaving. But he wasn't leaving. He was just trying to do something where he couldn't actually get me because I was standing directly under him, I guess. Which, incidentally, is how you avoided that attack in Freedom Unite. But... I didn't know that it would work like that in this game. And I'm still not 100% certain that it does. It might have been he was going for a target other than us or something. So, buddy, you want to ever put your feet down? There we go. I don't really mind how he does it as long as the feet go down. I prefer when they stay on the ground, you see. Yes, much like this. Ow. And away he goes, this time for reals. Or not. Wow, I just completely lost the ability to read Rathloses in this game, didn't I? health this high, he can't even think about two-shotting us, so we are totally fine. 
no real need to heal up any further. Well, now there is. And now there isn't. And now there is. But hey, I'm not really taking this that seriously, because this guy doesn't really pose a threat. I just need to not take three hits in a row. And they gotta be meaty hits at this level of health. Like, we're not just talking tail sweeps, we're talking like three fireballs in a row without healing. And just frankly, I'm not gonna let that happen. Two in a row would be conceivable, like if I got hit by one and then the next one stunned me. But three in a row just won't happen. Okay, this time for reals, he's leaving. So let's go ahead and sharpen. All right, so he is just going right up here. Oh boy, Melinx. Okay, so I do not get a chance to dodge away from that if I get hit by the roar stuff. Whether my shakalakas let me try or not. Oh no, a mini whetstone. How will I live without one of those? I feel so put out by not having that mini whetstone. Why, I feel almost naked, like I've lost a part of myself. For real and for true. Forever and ever. Oh no. Not having that many wet stone is like not having mine own arm. Truly, my life will not be the same ever again. Considered going mining, but decided against it. Because meh. We've got a sleepy boy to go wake up. I just wish I had something strong to wake him up with. Because, like, my strongest attack is just that. At least the strongest one that I can use without hitting with a different one beforehand. Pretty sure it's my actual strongest, though. Nice try, buddy, but I was still on the floor. It'd be neat if I managed to kill him out of the air, but I don't expect that that'll happen. Considering there's so little of him that we can actually reach when he's flying, and... He's probably got a decent amount of health left that would provide a decent buffer, even if we were to try and kill him out of the air. Ow. Press the B button, but it must have been a little too early. I haven't quite finished my attack animation. Oh boy. Well, hey. Still health positive for that. probably taking a hit here or not because he couldn't flap back far enough to actually peg us that's fine by me I don't mind not taking hits so what I would mind even less is him dying right here
Give me shells. Two shells. There's one. One more and we're good. That's a scale, not a shell. That also is a scale. You better give me a shell in the rewards, buddy. Or I will be upset with you. And if he doesn't, then maybe one of my little guys will get one for me. That would be nice. But Cha Cha looks like he's busy pestering the Bonahabras. Yeah, I really ought to get the acorn mask on that little guy. Because otherwise, he's not going to be that much help. Even with it, he's not going to be too much help, but probably at least a little bit more than with the lamp mask. Show me a shell. No shells. Because of course there are no shells. Why would there be a shell? And hey, he was a little bigger. So, how about our little jerks? You guys got any shells? Cha-Cha is worthless. So let's go ahead and change his mask so that he can stop being quite so worthless. Acorn mask. And he can keep his earplugs or whatever it is he's got. And Kayamba got us nothing. And you know what? Let's go ahead and change him to the pincer mask. Have these two wearing their just regular masks for a while. Honestly, I do think they look better that way. And I guess... Actually, what do we still need here? We gotta do the Diablos for sure. Do we need to do either of these two? Probably the Durambros. Probably the Echnactor. But yeah. Um, hmm. Let's hop back over to Moga and I'm just going to take a quick look. I think it was actually just the Pink Rathian that we had to do to get our next urchin, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was. So, like, uh, this one. So, yeah, we'll do that. We'll try and get ourselves a high rank weapon before we really go for the low rank in Tanzia, just so that we can clear it faster. So, yeah. That is going to be it for this episode. Join us next time when we take out a Pink Rathian again. Because it will be our second one. Yeah. See you then, friends. <laughs>